Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have a very special guest, the co-founder of Reprise, Evan Powell. Welcome, Evan. Thank you so much, Gerhard. It's great to be here. You have a great smile because you have something very exciting to share. Yes, we have just announced a brand new product and the completion of our demo creation platform. So our new product for Reveal is uh, available now in early access and general sales coming very soon. In one word, what is the biggest advantage of your new demo solution? Any salesperson can customize a demo in minutes right before a call, on the middle of a call, whatever they need to do to make the perfect demo that will speak exactly to the use case that they that they need to show. So customization is one point. How does the salesperson know that they have done a good job after that demo? For that, they can actually use our existing products. So, you know, one of the things that's great about this uh, reveal announcement is that it's linked up with our other existing products, Replicate and Replay. So the idea would be that while you're giving this demo, our replay product is actually in the background recreating a click-through demo of exactly what you showed. So you can send it out to the prospect afterwards and then get analytics on who they share it with, how long they spend on different parts of the demo, whatever it is. So that demo, it's not just that you're creating an asset for the call, you're then getting a customized asset you can send to the prospect afterwards and get information about how they interact. That is very valuable. So what is the early reaction uh, to your new solution? A ton of excitement. I think what we're doing now is finally giving the individual sales rep control over their demo in a way they've never had before, right? You can take a demo environment and customize it to the specific prospect, then use that demo to create something that you can send out right afterwards. And so what it's really doing is bringing together a full end-to-end -end demo creation platform, and that's what we're so excited about. So for those in the audience that uh, want to learn from the mistakes of what other salespeople have been doing and failed, what are some of the pitfalls that uh, salespeople should avoid when they do a demo online? There's almost too many to count, right? But I think first and foremost is making prospects jump through hoops in order to get a demo. And there's a reason people do this, right? They do it because it's hard to give a demo today. So you say, I don't want to give a demo until I know you're qualified. That makes prospects mad. So don't do that. Give them the product right away. And then the other thing is you need to show a demo that actually looks like their use case because people have bought so many pieces of software that haven't gone well for them at this point. They need to be able to show, I can stand up in front of my CEO and know that this product will work for me. And that's where having a customized demo that speaks to their specific use case is vital. Evan, any suggestions as to how long a demo should be? The most effective demos are actually in that 30-minute range, like a 30-minute call with the demo where you're quickly, you're doing a little bit of discovery to make sure that you're getting on the right track and then going straight to the product. For a first call, that's what you need to do. You need to kind of get them excited. And then from there, you can start to delve into more technical demos. But typically, 30 minutes is great for that first call demo. You want to you wanna get their attention, but then not, not bore them by dragging on for too long. How do you know when you give a demo that uh, the client is actually paying attention? First of all, what I would recommend and what we see with a lot of Reprise customers is when you have a demo up on your site, you can have them come into that call and you can see already what they were interested in. What were they clicking on already? So I can delve into that specifically. And that's always going to bring more interest than just here, let me show you a Harvard tour. I think another thing is I like to, and I talk about this with our sales team all the time. I like to use demo as a, the demo as an opportunity for discovery. Right. So rather than put all the discovery up front and then show a demo that looks pretty much the same as it would have if you hadn't done discovery, use the demo as an opportunity. You can say, you know, a lot of clients like you would use our product this way. Is that how you would do it? Right. And now you've got them engaged. It's a conversational demo versus a, yeah. you know, I'm going to sit back and watch the sales rep show me something. Yeah. What you want to do is have them involved. Yeah, it's almost like uh, with uh, David Blaine, the magician, you know, he yeah. always gets the audience involved in the creation of magic. Absolutely. It's far more fun that way. I think you have shared this, uh, wealth of information. I'd like everybody to head over to your website and your website is getreprise.com, right? We've actually, we've upgraded our URL. We are reprise.com now, but Get Reprise will take you there as well. And how do they get a free demo? You can actually see a demo right on our webpage. You can see how it works right on the page and you can get in touch with us and we can talk about getting you set up to, to get something to send out to, to your customers. Awesome. Well.